If I was starting today as a traditional engineer who hadn't yet touched AI, this is exactly what I would do. Not the hype, not the doom, just the path forward and exactly what steps I would take to get started building. The first step that I would take is to try to get myself and convince myself to move into what I call the AI first mindset. Number one, and probably the reason you're here, you already know, AI is real, in a real way. It brings value. It can move the needle. It's not perfect, but it's also absolutely not going away, and it is definitely continually getting better. Another one, stop thinking about all of this AGI and future future. Will it take all the jobs? Will it do everything? No, 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 not for a long time. And that's for a later day to worry about. If what you're trying to do is get started, you've got to think about what is here right now in front of you and how it can help. You have to move away from thinking about learning as something that is kind of stable. You pick up a piece of information and you keep it, you capture it, you put it in your pocket forever to use. That's not the way it works anymore. Now you pick something up and you realize what it does and you go, this is what it is today, but I need to remember to come back and check on it again tomorrow and the next day. And maybe it gets better or maybe it gets worse. I've got to reevaluate. That's actually kind of important. Stop waiting for perfect understanding before you get started. Now, this isn't unique to the AI revolution. This is something that I myself get stuck in many, many times. And I would advise myself of this. And if you get stuck in it, this is the moment. Stop thinking you need to understand it and be able to diagram it before you do it. Learn to use it and learn about it while you use it. These two things work correctly together. So don't go learn about it and then start using it. You have to use it to learn about it. And while you're using it, you get to learn about it. Was that circular? Okay, let's address the cheating thing. Am I cheating? Uh, am I a worse engineer? Is it making me dumber? Do I care less about my customers if I do this? Does it turn out worse code? Stop. These things are just there as roadblocks to prevent you from moving forward and finding a path to making all of those no's. You can make them all yeses if you choose to. It's up to you to make them all no. None of those things are true, but you've got to start moving forward. Okay, all of this hype and all of this doom all of it is noise. This is not a passive mindset. This is very active. You will be learning continually. You will find things that do not work. You will find things that surprisingly do work. Both of those are equal. It's okay and in fact great to find things that don't work. Stop being critical and start being curious. This is the AI first mindset in a nutshell. Welcome to the AI first mindset. Okay, sorry about all the tough talk me, however this works. But listen, it's time to shake yourself into shape. And there are some things out there you have got to actively ignore. Some of these things keep popping up and they sound like important things to pay attention to. Don't. In 30 days, we're going to be an active new engineer, but we've got to get there. We can't just allow everything to disrupt us. Some of those things, we've talked about them. Doom talk, hype talk, all of the worry, all of the political woes. Will it steal all our jobs? Will there be any money? Will it take my house? Will it eat us for lunch? Don't worry about all of that. That's not today. It's at least not in the next 30 days. If you want to be active and you want to be available in this space and actually move forward, you have to focus on what's right in front of you. Saying that you're worried about what AI is going to become, if there's ASI and all of that other stuff, okay, I'm with you. It's valid. We do need to pay attention to it. If you have time to pay attention to it and move forward, fantastic. If not, move forward. Okay, some that are harder because they're kind of the bright, shiny thing that's fun to chase. Don't track every model change. Don't look at every framework. Don't look at every agentic system and new paradigm out there. You have to first move forward. You have to be active. So stay on the path. Your job is to pay attention to the things that are in your domain and actually matter to your domain and ignore everything else, at least just for a little while. And hey, let's talk about YouTube, right? Use YouTube judiciously. Find people that you trust. Figure out people that can separate signal and hype or doom and follow the signal. You will get to a lot of places that sound like signal and they're actually hype. It's hard to tell the difference. 
move on quickly. Wait, not yet. There's some more good stuff. It's it's not hypey this time. Do not build AI for AI technologies. Don't try to build an MCP server. Don't build an entire agentic system. These systems are a little bit more complicated and have far more variables and typically are far newer, which means the models have not trained on them, they don't understand them as well, and you might not yet be able to understand the difference when the model you're talking to doesn't understand what the framework needs or you haven't given it the right context to understand what the framework needs. You need to learn into that phase. You'll get there. It's not far off that you can get to the place to where you're building these things. Because the first thing we're doing for this month is we're learning how to talk to the model. That's really the main thing we're learning how to do. And finally, a bit repetitive here, but don't touch every surface. It's okay one day you might want to look around and be able to understand just about everything that's out there. Don't dabble five minutes in everything. Spend two hours in one thing. Now, generally, I wouldn't say in AI, the best thing you can do is go as deep as you can. You want to go to a certain depth and then kind of branch off of that. The problem is things are changing so dramatically in AI right now and have been for the last 10 months that if you go super deep, you're very, very likely to break off at some point because of movement. Tectonic movement happens very frequently here. And if you drill too deeply and are really building something that's systemically deep, then no doubt somewhere in the strata that you've drilled through, that will move and you'll be in trouble. So for right now, while we're just learning you, you should think about building things that are just deep enough to be interesting and valuable and new, but help you actually learn about talking to a model. All right, enough of that. Let's talk about what can we actually build. Okay, finally, we're talking about what are we gonna build in the next 30 days? So here's the thing that I'm advising to you, you, me, I still don't know that I have that right. What I'm advising is in the next 30 days, you work on three projects. What I want you to do before you even get started, before you even think about integrating with AI in any meaningful way from a code standpoint, sit down with a piece of paper, or frankly, if you're like me, a microphone and a computer, record yourself, turn that into a transcript. That's now your context. What you wanna come up with is things that take you five minutes to describe to someone else. So if it is a problem or kind of a program that you're defining that takes five minutes and no more to describe, but also no less, that's the project that you want. We need to build something that has just enough sophistication that you will fail multiple times trying to get to the end, but not enough sophistication that the variables are so high that you just get frustrated and you don't understand if it's the model that's having problem or you talking to the model and giving it the right context that's the problem or if ai is actually not capable it's not capable of some things ai is very good at being able to do single shot development these days so you cannot give it a single simple kind of solution i advise that you build web applications they're the easiest to kind of go through the full pipeline uh, there's very sophisticated tools that support this kind of stuff. And really my personal advice is to build something complete all the way from ideation, from maybe a PRD, all the way to deployment, that you have three items in 30 days that you can touch and say, I built that, I use it, I like it. These should be things that you like, that you're interested in, that solve small problems or kind of are new ideas for you, whatever it is. Don't shoot the moon, don't go crazy here because the product is not actually the product. You are the product. We are trying to get you comfortable talking to the model and understanding how to have that conversation. You need to continually go back to the model saying, well, I asked it this way, let me ask it a different way. Would it have given me the same response? You are not going for speed, you are going for completeness and learning. What you're trying to figure out is how much do I have to talk to this? In what ways do we need to work together? Those kind of findings, if you start asking those things and discovering those things, you are definitely on the path. That is exactly what we're looking for. Okay, let's talk about the stack that you'll be building with. Now, again, like I said, I was being opinionated by saying, build a web application, but allow yourself to build something that can deploy, that you can go through the full life cycle. You don't wanna cut your learning short. That full life cycle, the reason I mention that, is AI can really help in that space. So I would say, put down $20, it's one month, $20, 
go to OpenAI, go to Anthropic, buy a subscription to either one of those and use its kind of coding model. So essentially, OpenAI will give you codecs, Anthropic will give you Claude code. Personally, I would say if you're uncomfortable in this area in any way, try Anthropic first. But I think that OpenAI and ChatGPT has a better set of general offerings altogether, and that $20 will get you uh, kind of open the door for many of those other offerings. So I think it's very valuable to imagine going over to ChatGPT and saying, here's my $20 for a month, because there's some other things that I'll advise that you need to be doing that will move forward your advancement into AI that's not just this coding, and ChatGPT and those tools kind of actually help there. Okay, and the conclusion of this whole, what should I build? Let's make sure you understand very discreetly what you're building. You're building your own curiosity. It is the number one feature of AI first thinking, and it takes a while to learn how to be curious. It is not something that's natural to many people. And such, you have to kind of figure out tools to drag yourself back in regularly to saying, well, what else? And what if? And is that the only? Was that right? How else can I challenge you? Can I make it so that you don't do that? In fact, I had a friend the other day that put out a post that said, hey, why don't I just take all the spaces out of my communication when I talk to ChatGPT? And he started sending sentences to ChatGPT with literally no spaces between the words. And ChatGPT did nothing but translate them back with spaces. Fascinating finding. To me, this is the AI first curiosity starting to happen. That's a beautiful spark. If you find yourself doing literally silly things like this, you are in the right place. It takes that to understand what these models can do, and you can't be successful as an engineer or almost in any other way with AI until you can understand their edges well enough. Otherwise, you're just using the tools and waiting for people to create the tools for you to use. That's as far as you'll ever be able to go, and you can't stretch past it. So AI first curiosity is what we're building. 30 days in, you will be a more curious person. You have to work on it, though. The only way to become fluent in this space and any space is immersion. You have to immerse yourself. 30 days. You only need 30 days. That's your job. In 30 days, become curious. That's the goal. Invest in yourself. Stay curious. Thanks for coming along for the ride on this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and hey, if you're interested in this kind of content, of course, please subscribe. It really helps. But moreover, I do have a whole video about the AI first mindset and really how that can help. I'll put the link into the description. And there's also some new engineering videos that I have here that are kind of talking about another version of this kind of content that describes that new engineering is kind of the enhancement of traditional engineering. We just need to pivot. So just in case you're interested in that kind of thing, check the description. Thanks for being here.